Many good ones. Nick DiPaolo, a lot of guys don't know about Nick. Nick hilarious. And of course my friends, Ari Shafir and Joey Diaz, both well, hilarious. Very funny guys. I you know, I just love comedy and I'm still a big fan of it as an art form. You know, even though I do it, I I, I still I really like going to see it. You know, like if if I didn't have to I'm going to uh, do some shows in Canada this weekend. But if I wasn't if I wasn't gonna be around, I would definitely go check out Patton. You know, I love watching a good comedy show, you know. It's and as a comic, like it makes you inspired. You just want to go home and write, you know. Get all pumped up. You know, mm-hmm. that's cool. It's an I think it's an awesome art form. You know, I mean, it's an art form designed to literally make you feel better, it makes you laugh, it makes you think about things, and you literally feel better. Like causes when you laugh, like it changes your whole your whole system. You know, everything gets fired up, you get excited. You know? It's good for you. It's the best way to make a living too. It's the most fun job ever. Entertaining. Yeah, just doing stand up. Mm-hmm. It's the the best. Just making people laugh. Sweet. Let's go to the phones again. Yo, you're on with Joe Rogan. It's Tony. Hello. All right, let's go to this line. All right, Dave. Tony just climaxed. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Hello, who's this? Hey, this is Dave from Boston. Hi, Dave. How are you from Boston? Dave from Boston. Thanks. How y'all? What's going on, fella? You're from Boston. You say y'all? What the hell is that? Hey, you know, it's (laughs) to make people pick their heads up and listen. (laughs) Oh, there you go. What's going on, Dave? Hey, Joe. I just want to thank you for raising the awareness of MMA. And I know a lot of people crossed over because of the yard contributions, and we all like that. Oh, thanks, man. And, uh, you know, we have our own style here in Boston. Um, I also want to thank you for introducing, um, I think, the Indians coming out of me into culture. I think that's going to be the next new quote. I but hope really so. What you got to attribute that to Joey Diaz if you hear it. I'm going to use it, too. The Indians coming out. And you, gotta, <laughs> you hear it like, with Joey's voice, because Joey's this 375-pound Cuban. Who's not allowed That's to? Awesome. He's not allowed to perform at the comedy works because of something that happened in the past oh. that we will not discuss. But I think that's such a great quote. I think you should uh, tweet that right now. I know. Right. And uh, what I really wanted to say, drunk. what I really wanted to ask was, I know that you were recently here in Boston. I think you were shooting a movie, and um, just wanted to get your impressions of uh, what it was like to be riding your bike around Boston. <laughs> yeah, I was doing a scene. Uh, it's it's really like a kids movie with uh, Kevin James. It's called Zookeeper. It's pretty funny. I mean, it's not it's not like uh, there's nothing edgy in it at all. It's all like silly humor, what, but it's you know. What made you want to do a kids movie? First of all, because I have kids, and it'd be nice if they could see one thing that I've yeah. done. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know? That's what a lot you know, of comics that come through that that say that that get into the role of doing kids movies. It's they're like, I yeah. have a daughter now, and I want her to see some of my work. Well, she'll be, you know, she'll be two by the time it comes out, you know, and then she'll be kind of able to understand a little bit better, you know. Like right now, like we'll like make a little thing on the iPhone. I'll make a little video with me and her, and we'll talk. And then she looks at it, and she's like freaking out because she's are playing we on a video. There? She's like, Daddy, Daddy, <laughs> and then she like touches it and touches my face. Like what? The F is going on, Very bitch. Very confusing. Like, what is this little magic thing you got in your pocket that captures time? That's you know? I mean, it's real. So, like, I want to do something that she would like. And they offered me a lot of money. So. No, okay. So I said, All right, and, and the other reasons. thing, Joe, the other thing fun. I wanted to say was, um, I know you're a dad. I know you're a smart guy. And uh, we like that you're out there representing us because there's a lot of us that think the same way that you do about all the topics that you guys were uh covering today and um you know maybe you can tell us later what happened when you guys used up all the dump thanks a lot well you know a a lot of guys i mean like you were saying you have the same ideas you just don't have a platform and you have a job and if you have a job you can't be the guy running around talking about smoking dmt (laughs) you're gonna pull you into the office at Allstate and go listen bitch like (laughs) that is illegal and you're crazy (laughs) you're talking about true but we can all support you know we can all do the right thing we can all get you know, things I think move it's along. A, we can we can vote things into law. I mean, recently in Massachusetts, yes. we had a referendum that you know now it's quasi yeah. legalized. Yeah, it's decriminalized in Massachusetts, so which is we amazing. Think we think that's a big deal here in Massachusetts. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I grew up in Massachusetts, and I, I think it's a huge deal. I think it's awesome. You know, it, it does help, you know, and I think people are, are starting to understand. And me, as a, a person who, you know, gets to talk, you know, I get to be a person that other people listen to. I think it's very important to speak your mind about things like that. Because there's so many of us out there that feel the exact same way and we don't have a, we don't have a voice. So I feel like if, if there's something that's that important, I mean, like, I would say that my, 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 my point of being here, my reason why I'm on this planet, is to bring the meatheads and the podheads together. Like, yeah. That's why I am the bridge. That, yeah, you are I'm the, the bridge. bridge. I'm the bridge. I'm an unlikely bridge between the meatheads and Good the potheads. sturdy bridge. Yeah. Oh, no, you, you shouldn't denigrate yourself by uh, aligning so closely with the meatheads. If I didn't know me, I would definitely think I was a meathead. I totally look like a meathead. I'm involved in meathead pastimes. 
You know, I, I have a, a meathead tattoo. You know, ah, I wear fa- I wear fanny packs. My whole left arm is tattooed. You do not have a fanny pack. I wear Holy fanny packs cow, all the time. Up. Yeah, my left arm's been. Wow. Well, Joe's been trying to rock years. the fanny pack. Bring it back. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to bring back the fanny pack into pop culture, modern modern uh, culture. I believe it's an important you and the piece whole. of wardrobe. I wear that. Sh- Oops, I didn't swear. You that caught one. yourself. I caught myself. I wear it everywhere. I wear the fanny pack the everywhere. Man pouch. Whenever I whenever I travel, I wear it because it's so much easier. You go through you- security, just unbuckle that bitch, drop it in the car, and bam, I'm good. I don't mind if I look ridiculous. Okay, for traveling, I get it. But for just chilling and hanging out? <laughs> if I need some room, yeah, I'll throw that bitch on. Hey, if you I know, need some room, stretch. A man you know? has to make his own statement. A man if I want to bring my camera, if I want to bring my camera and my cell phone and my wallet and my keys, I don't want to carry all that crap. Bam! I, I don't right know in what, the fanny yeah. pack. It's right there. It's right there. Right there. Just reach, drop no my hands gonna down. No one's going to grab at your Bam. crotch either, so it's in a safe, secure spot. Once you don't want... See, once I'm married and I have children, I don't, I'm not trying to get laid. And when you're not yep. trying to get laid, you have so much freedom. Like, I don't care. See, I'm not trying. There's, there's no effort. I'm not trying to be cool looking. I'm not trying to be appealing. I'm not trying. Has I'm your try, wife said maybe that you've let yourself go? No. I, <laughs> okay. I she doesn't get to say. As a boulderite, <laughs> what's your say. feeling on Crocs? On Crocs, Crocs? Crocs are based in Boulder. Um, I'm sure I'm sure they make your feet stink. Right? They're very they comfortable. You can sanitize them like completely them. by putting them in the dishwasher. Huh. So a lot of people wear them in hospitals. With their scrubs. I do have a problem with women's feet in Boulder. There's something about, I guess, all the, the hiking, and nobody's taking care of their feet. These yeah. women look like they've been kicking rocks. It's called a pedicure. <laughs> yeah, they've been tri- playing soccer with logs. <laughs> They're horrible, like, knobby, dirty, chewed up feet. Mm-hmm. And everyone's got them exposed. They're all wearing sandals. and Tevas. Purpose. Yeah, those Ugh. dirty, nasty things. Sports sandals. Hate them. <sighs> so that's my only complaint. Mm-hmm. Bumper stickers. Feet. Not much, you know, hippies. Cigarettes. Yeah. Cigarettes. But your feet carry you around. You need to take care of them. I agree. But other than that, I, I, I enjoy Boulder tremendously. Well, good. There's good sushi there, believe it nice or not. Nice people, too. Very, mm-hmm. very nice people. So, we're wrapping up our time. Anything else on your platform? <laughs> it's your calling in life to share. <laughs> to share. So There's nothing, Mella. I think we said it all. I think we said it all. Yeah, today. we covered a lot. Yeah. Well, I'm, uh, thank you guys for having me in. I had a good time. Thank you so much for coming Always down. fun. Always fun to come down here. We'll have you Let back in a ramble. couple weeks. Okay. Yeah, a couple For weeks. Sure. Let's do it. Sweet. Bitches. I'll be here all the time. Peace out. We're leaving you with Hollywood Peace out. Undead. Yeah. Peace out, bitches.